as many of you know, there is a massive amount of hype behind Beyond Meat, which is cleverly marketed as what we are led to believe is healthy. Plant-based, soy-free, gluten-free. But once you actually look at the ingredients, Beyond Meat is the opposite of healthy. They can only replicate the protein component of the meat. That means they have to replace the fat with cheap seed oils like canola and soybean oil, which have been marketed as healthy to the American public for the past 50 years, yet in reality, they are a byproduct of manufacturing processes, pretty much sludge, and are definitely the most dangerous thing we are consuming on a daily basis. Oxidized, rancid, high omega-6 vegetable seed oils. And animal fat is being demonized, yet if animals are raised in proper conditions, grass-fed, pasture-raised, wild-caught fish, animal fat literally has all of the vitamins, minerals, elements, and fatty acids that our body needs. Today, we are going to take a look at the Beyond Burger patties in their raw state, in their cooked state, and then as camouflaged as a burger. Uh, so we're going to have a pretty objective opinion of what this looks like, uh, but let's take a quick look at the package first. And what really scared the hell out of me, used by 19 of March, 2020. A one year shelf life, and how long does meat normally last? This is completely ridiculous. Ingredients, water, pea protein isolate, expeller press canola oil, refined coconut oil, and then 2% or less of the following, cellulose from bamboo, methyl cellulose, potato starch, natural flavor, maltodextrin, yeast extract, salt, sunflower oil, about 15 other ingredients, basically a bunch of chemicals uh, to flavor and color this food. But the primary components of this are also chemicals pea protein isolate, expeller pressed canola oil, refined coconut oil. Not one natural food exists in this product. The price isn't much cheaper than beef, and on paper, the macronutrient ratio it doesn't really look too good. I don't understand why they say this is perishable on the package, and I also don't understand why they have what appears to be like a drawing of a cow on the package, but uh, hey, non-GMO project verified, whatever that counts for. Uh, so let's take a look at the burgers, smell them, taste them, and see what Frankie Boy thinks. First, we are going to take a look at the burgers in their raw and unaltered state. Here, of course, is the Beyond Burger Patty, and this is some regular grain-fed beef from Whole Foods. Oh, smells like hexane. Hexane is a solvent, and yeah, like chemicals, like hexane, like bleach chlorine, not good. And that just smells like regular raw beef. This is like leaking oil. You guys could see this is like leaking the canola oil out of, or whatever oil, the coconut oil, out of the patty. And it smells like absolute poison. This is so disgusting. It's very clear that in the raw state, and, and this happens with grain-fed versus grass-fed beef too. If you were to take like grain-fed beef fat and compare it to grass-fed beef fat, the grain-fed beef fat would be disgusting too. So raw food in its natural unaltered state is usually a good metric for whether it's something we should be putting in our bodies. Just the fact that I'm putting this stuff in my mouth, you guys could at least like the video. I don't even want to touch this with my hands, let alone put it in my mouth. Oh, this is so disgusting. Oh my God. It's like gritty. Ugh. Oh my God. It, it tastes just like it smells. That aftertaste of hexane and solvent, whatever the hell that is, lingers in your mouth. It's so disgusting. That is not something anyone should be putting in their body. And if you smell that or taste that and you eat it, shows what's wrong with Americans today and how much we've been misled. And I mean, this is just ground beef. You know, I've had this a million times. I don't, I don't really like grain-fed ground beef. 
tastes like a... Uh, tastes a bit off to me, but nothing like the plant-based burger patty. They actually ground this up a bit too much, so it's kind of pasty. But it's just very plain, very mild, raw beef. Okay, so we'll feed that patty to some type of demon, and I'll save the burger for my family. Moving on, we have the burgers that were pan-seared in avocado oil with salt and pepper. Uh, so I tried to replicate restaurant cooking technique and do a really nice job here. But we're just going to taste the patties on their own first. I cook both of them to like a medium. Okay, that's actually scary how much the taste changes. It's very clear that this plant-based burger has been engineered to be cooked. And although it still doesn't really taste that good, it's 10 times better than its raw state. And I'm led to believe it's gonna be pretty passable when we put it on uh, this burger bun. Let's have a little bite of the, of the cooked burger. Medium temperature, nice crust on the outside as well. That's pretty good, yeah. Again, I'm not a fan of the grain-fed ground beef, but it's pretty good. For the burger, I bought some potato buns. I toasted them uh, with a little bit of olive oil and salt in a pan. Uh, so I'm just going to take the bottom of the bun. I'll put the burger on for each one. We're going to take some just American cheese on top. Put a little bit of Heinz ketchup on the top bun. Now I'm going to boil this in the oven for a few minutes just to melt the cheese. All right, boys and girls, I don't think I have tasted a cheeseburger in like 15 years. But let's give it a shot. <laughs> this doesn't look bad. Uh, so this is the Beyond Burger, and we're going to give it a shot. It's a lot of bread. Way too much bread. I could see some fat American scarfing this down for sure. I think you have multiple components here making this a hyper palatable food. You have the crust that we got on the burger bun with the olive oil and the salt. You have the sweetness of the ketchup, the umami flavors of the cheese, and the creaminess of the cheese, and then the mired reaction on the burger patty. I mean, it's not bad. I really wish I made this without ketchup. I think it would have been very, very different. I don't think it would have covered up the flavor nearly as much. On a number scale, I think I'd give that burger a 6.5 out of 10. And I really think the ketchup just covers up, you know, the negative flavors of the patty. Uh, but let's try the real burger. You actually taste the meat. In that plant-based patty, I was really just tasting like ketchup and cheese and bread. I can really see how they're getting away with selling this burger. That grain-fed hamburger was a little bit overcooked. I would probably give it like a 7.25 out of 10. If the meat was higher quality and it was cooked properly, it would probably get an 8 out of 10. But the taste between you know, that Beyond Burger and the regular burger, you know, once you factor in the cheese, the ketchup, the bun, it actually camouflages it pretty well. So I see where people are coming from uh, when they're okay with consuming these foods. However, it makes a lot of sense that people would still be craving meat or want to eat meat as, you know, these plant-based burger patties do not contain, you know, the vitamins, the nutrients that meat has itself. I actually made a burger a couple of months ago with really high quality meat, raw cheese, uh, super high quality wheat flour, and it was delicious. It was like 10 out of 10, uh, way better than anything I tasted today. So it really says something about, you know, the quality of the ingredients and, you know, what you put into the dish. If you make quality burger buns, like put them in raw butter, you know, put some raw butter on the burger buns, raw cheese, high quality grass fed beef. That is a world of a difference compared to eating something like this. But, you know, if you're going to compare, you know, Beyond Burger Patties, you know, to shitty overcooked grain-fed beef, it's a bit closer of a comparison than you would think from an enjoyable perspective. But if you're actually comparing the flavor of the patty itself, yeah, it's painfully obvious 
which burger has beef in it. It's just the beef burger doesn't actually taste that much better uh, than the regular plant-based burger. So support high quality animal products. Uh, I think there's something to be said about, you know, what we're doing to our animals now if, you know, the grain fed meat in the supermarket is comparable to this Beyond Meat crap. So thank you guys for joining me today. If you could please like the video, subscribe, hit that bell icon and share the video if you can. If you guys would like to support me further, definitely check out frankiesfreerangemeat.com. We provide high quality, nutrient dense animal foods at the most affordable price online, such as organ meats, fat. We've recently added Wagyu beef. So definitely check that out guys, great price. Thanks again for joining me and enjoy the rest of your week.